What's going on you guys? Bryce McKinley here, Coach Sharpen. You know what time it is. If you don't know Bryce, he's crushing it. He's doing over 50 wholesale deals a month. Hey, just making this quick video because I was getting ready to walk out the door and I had a comment or actually an inbox message asking me what's the fastest way to build a buyer's list. And so I wanted to share with you guys three simple ways to build a buyer's list so that way you guys have folks ready and lined up when you have a deal. So let's dive right in. Number one, what's up Chris, what's up James, Rick? Make sure you guys tell me where you're watching from. I'm gonna share with you three simple ways to build a massive buyer's list and I'll give you an example. So share this out, invite people into the group. People don't wanna miss this content. So number one, the first way and probably the most effective way to build a buyer's list is to simply go get a deal. That's right, when you contract the deal at the right price, your buyers will come. That's number one. Number two, you can go to networking events and things like that, but that's just not an income producing activity. And so what I would suggest is if you go to a networking event, take a deal with you. Shop that thing online and in other networking groups like buyers list, cash buyers, real estate investors, groups like this. Shop your deal in groups. And third, last but surely not least, the quickest way to build a buyer's list is this. Skip, not skip trace, excuse me, pull an MLS listing for the last 18 months of agents that have represented or homes that have sold for cash. In our market, in the last 18 months, we've had over 6,000 closings that were sold, houses that were sold in cash. And so we pulled that list and then we skip trace that list as to who is the owner of that property or, and I should say, and we also keep the agent and their email contact information. So we're not only hitting the agents that represented the buyers, but once we skip trace that property that closed for cash, we look at who's close two, who's close three, or who's close four or more, and then separate those into individual lists. The ones that have closed three or four or more, those are your buyers. The agents that represented the cash buyers, sure, they have a network. You want to put them on your list as well. But those are my three tips. Number one, go get a deal and market that deal out. Your buyers will come. Number two, market those deals into networking groups and or events. And three, uh, run an MLS run, whether you have access to it or find a struggling agent you can give 50 bucks to to use their access once. But pull all the homes that have sold for cash in the last 18 months, skip trace the properties for the owners, and add those agents and emails and contact information to your buyers list. Just doing that alone, we had over 250,000 added to our buyers list in the last 48 hours, and we've got deals flying off the shelf. So I hope this helps somebody. Nobody's dropped a comment yet, so if you like what you hear, drop some fire down there, share this out, invite somebody. Just don't do nothing. I love you guys, God bless, stay sharp, and I'll see you at the top. You know what time it is, go do something. Hey guys, Bryce McKinley here, Coach Sharpen. You know what time it is. I wanna personally thank you for watching these videos. You see, you might wanna to subscribe to this channel, and I'm not just saying that to get more followers, but the knowledge that I drop, I guarantee you won't get anywhere else. You see, the information that I give is not just the fluff that every other poo guru and bleh, guru talks about. You might wanna stay alert for what's happening next. So, subscribe, hit the notification bell to keep you posted. You're not gonna to wanna to miss what I drop on this channel. Let me see.